Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Red's here. We're going to continue our uh, video frenzy this week with another pretty special shave. Barrister and Man Vanille. I was uh, lucky enough to finally grab this. Um, many of you know that this was released in 2014 on, on or around Valentine's Day and like only 36 or so tubs were, were made. They were sold out within minutes. So, these are pretty hard to come by. But I was lucky enough to get into a group where someone was able to arrange for this to be custom made. If a certain quantity of uh, people would buy in. So, we met the quantity and here we are. As you can see, the lather's similar to that of uh, Night Music or uh, La Vanille, where it's got that kind of espresso y or milk chocolatey or whatever hue to it because of the uh, oxidized vanillin, I think it's called. As you can see, this lathers no problem. This is the white label soap base, not glissant. Why? <coughs> I don't know it's not why it's not glissant, but I'm not complaining. I love the white label base. So, that's that. <coughs> I'm going to be using the uh, Wolfman again tonight because I have it on loan. And I want to get quite a few shaves out of it before I have to send it back to the owner. So... Wolfman, I've got a uh, boss con in here and we'll get started. This razor is amazing. The, uh, the balance on it is just so so good and the blade is just locked down I remember watching uh, Uncle W on Sunday and he was saying how the uh, I think it was a blackbird razor. Just uh it tightened up so well that it was almost like it was all one piece. And when he said that, I immediately thought of this razor. Great first pass. <clears> there <throat> was a little bit of uh, humor, a little bit of butt hurt going on today in the groups where these uh, soaps were posted. Um, there was no exclusivity or clickiness about how this came about. 
the person that organized it simply reached out to the people he had seen use Barrister and Man most in his mind and asked if we'd be interested. So, I believe I've seen that. Somebody's already organizing another batch to be made, maybe. The smell on this is, uh, it's very raw vanilla. It's, it reminds me of, um, like if I was baking something and I took pure vanilla extract, not the synthetic, but the real one, and poured it into like a teaspoon measure, that smell right from the jar to the teaspoon is what I get. It's not as earthy and rooty, <laughs> if that's a word, like the uh, vanilla I get from Lavanille. It's pretty similar to the vanilla I get from Night Music, but Night Music just has so much more going on that it's tough to decipher. So, <clears throat> in my quest to find the one DE that I'll use along with my straights. I just sent out my Gillette new short comb to Delta Echo for the treatment. I'm looking forward to uh, getting it back. I also have a Icon DLC open comb. That a fellow Redditor is gonna allow me to borrow for a couple of days. Looking forward to trying that. I gotta remember that I don't need to stand as close when I'm DE shaving. All right. My skin's all kinds of irritated right there, not from not from tonight, but from last night. So that was a good two-pass shave. Um, the pole silver I used the other day so far worked better in this razor than that Voskhod just did. The Voskhod... It was a little smooth, I think, for that. So we'll, uh, I think I got one more shave out of this razor before it has to go back. I'll try a feather in there. Um, I'm not probably not going to do a video of it, but for anyone interested, I'll let you know what my thoughts were of the feather. 
So, again, we'll just do a quick recap and then I'll put some aftershave on. Wolfman uh, WR1OC on a WRH2 handle, wash card. My 28mm Fox Mirror with Ivory Whip Dog handle. Barrister Man Vanille. And we're going to finish off with a sample of Country Club Tobacco and Vanilla Aftershave. That was generously gifted to us by one of the gentlemen that was part of the, uh, the Vanille the vanille batch oh wow that's a really nice match thank you all for watching have a good night